from as we just discussed is one of the new moves up whereas liquid is of course again they are one of the veterans here in the esca pro division so we're gonna see just how well tempo storm is able to perform we again have tempo storm they've already played two matches here they played against ace gaming which is a team that i would probably consider kind of on their level and they did really well against them but unfortunately when they played off against elevate things were not so well this is going to be another team that i would yeah. argue to say is a little bit of a higher tier to them so we're gonna really have to wait and see how they perform against this team tonight yeah and here's what's kind of scary the ct win rate for tempo storm in this map is like 42 percent and this is a ct sided map and they're going against better opponents than what that that statistic is based off of so you know it's going to be very very scary uh for them if they can't have you know if you're not winning that many if you're winning percentage on a ct sided map is 42 percent you're going to be in a lot of trouble at this level because it puts too much onto a very difficult t side uh, the other thing we have to keep uh, keep watch on is 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 Ricks, who uh, who's been like their lead for Agro. You know he's their star player and and he's performed a lot. But last night he had a really really rough matchup in his first real test against pro league uh, opponents. So you know if it's something where he has another off night, you know who's going to make up for the frags that he's missing out on? Yeah, pretty much. And of course, Liquid here too. I think some important things as we take a look at some of their stats too. Sorry, just trying to take a look at the sheet here. It's, yeah, it's gonna be... Try to see how they did, but last time that we actually saw them play over here on Inferno, just to pull some more stats off here against that immunity team, they actually, again, they themselves also did not really do so well on their CT side here. So I think that that's a that's kind of dynamic that carries over to both teams, because when they played off against immunity on their last match that we saw them play professionally at least uh, here on Inferno, they actually managed to lose seven out of the seven out of fifteen of the rounds on their CT side too. So they were also having a little bit of trouble on an arguably much more CT sided map. Yeah, that's definitely scary, and it's kind of it's kind of weird to me because uh, you know Liquid was well actually, you know Liquid's a team that what's tough with them at the moment is they used to be a team who could get their CT rounds, you know, who would get the, the typical amount where they would hit that good that good number for the CT half, and they would transition over to their Terra side, and uh, and you know struggle a little bit, and even now we're seeing that with how passive they're playing, so. You know, I just think that this, their, their their offensive halves need to step it up on aggression. They, they need to. I've said this a couple times when we watch these guys play. They need to let you know unleash Liege, Nitro, and Fugly. Let those guys go out and find frags. And I think with um, Flosick playing with them, you know, at least for tonight, you know, he's someone that kind of helped alleviate that pressure. Another person they can just unleash. You know, he's a pretty strong fragger, so that helps them out a lot all across the board. But they can't get. You know, they're going to be forced into being passive at times because of how you, on this map you can smoke off choke points. And if they don't find a way to be aggressive when there's not smokes down, they're going to be in for a lot of trouble. Because passive strategies on this map just kind of play right into a defense's hands. And pretty much the same thing carries over, I think, to the guys on uh, on Tempo Storm here as well. We talked about that too, about how they like to play aggressively, but they hold it back sometimes. So we're gonna we're gonna need to see them play a little bit more aggressively here too if they want to take anything. Is I think at least for me, off of my somewhat limited experience, uh, I've noticed that the map here on Inferno is something that you need to try and kind of take risks on a couple times. Because as we talked about, it is really easy to smoke off on this map, and it's very hard for sometimes uh, T side players to break through and actually get into those sites. So we're gonna have to see that aggressive side, in my opinion, coming out from Tempo Storm this evening if they want to be able to make any progress on their own T-side. Yeah, and you know, here's a pretty here's a pretty uh, indicative statistic is, is for Team Liquid, who um, they're actually playing with NAF, so so maybe they couldn't get um, Flosick on the roster or didn't want to pay for him or something, but they are going to be playing with <laughs> NAF. He's a player they cut last season, so he's a little bit of a backup here. But um, this really scary statistic for Liquid is in five matches uh, through ESCA and CO, uh, this season that they've had, they're, they're six and thirty-eight on their terrorist sites. It's a sixteen percent win rate on offensive halves, and that's just uh, that's just bad news. Yeah, absolutely. And as we take a look here now, we do have the guys on Liquid. They are going to take the knife round, which means they are going to start off here on the CT side. And with that out of the way, guys, we are officially getting started. So once again, this is our first match this evening here in the fourth night. I think it's actually the final night of week one here in the ESL slash ESCA Pro League. It's Team Liquid taking on Tempo Storm, a best of one here on Inferno. Let's take a look as the match is getting started. Lawrence picked up those duallys, but there are three smokes on the side of uh, side of Tempo Storm for their terror side, so they have an execute you know planned out for what they want to do. And it's going to be a triple push at the beginning of this uh, pistol round for Team Liquid. And there's R Rix getting a nice pick in the window, so Nath getting overly aggressive. 
And we are going to see here too. Fugly still trying to hold off up banana at the moment. The guys on Temple Storm, very, very patient, holding three of their players back just on T ramp right now. Still trying to decide where they want to go. They're using those two players, pushing up their all mid right now inside of apartments, trying to see if they can kind of get an angle or get some info as to what's actually going on in the A site. And they'll probably make a decision from there. They've still got plenty of time to do it. A lot of progress has been made here by Rix, too. He's completely cleared out mid and has been able to spot pretty much what's going on there. But still beyond that, not able to catch many players. And now that we're getting down to the one minute mark, they are going to have to make a choice as to where they actually want to go here pretty soon. Yeah, and it's going to be over towards B. It's Fugly all alone. He's got to drop the smoke quickly. He does, but they're going to bull rush through that. So he's got to be very, very careful. He's going to play right behind it. That Ooh, they actually stopped. They're waiting for the smoke to plume and CT spawn. He's all alone for quite some time. No one's there. We go. Finally, the rotates are starting to come in. Adren's coming over along with some more assistance from Elise here as well, but they're smoked off. Gonna try and toss some frag and see if they were able to catch anything. Fugly's gonna be able to get a headshot kill over here on the Hades, but beyond that now, the rest of the Liquid roster is still trying to find their way, and Slip is gonna find a frag over here on the Fugly to take him out, and Adren is coming out through the garden here now, trying to see if he can take on anyone. Some nice damage going on a Stannis low there, but the rest of the guys are still holding back, and now the bomb's down as well, so they're gonna have to go for this retake. Slip finds another one, takes out Nitro, and as well, Adren trying to fire through, catch the player hiding behind new box right now. Elise gets caught out there by Stannis low, and now Adren stuck inside of his Destruction there. He's going to get taken out, and Tempo Storm will take the first round. Yeah, and it all comes down to that opening pick by Rix, just uh, Nath getting caught out there, unfortunately, in the window. So there was a triple stack at B for Team Liquid, but once that kill goes down, you saw they, they had to rotate two off. They felt very nervous leaving that A so undefended, and they thought, you know, the hit was going to come over there pretty soon. So, you know, Fugly actually held them off for quite some time, but nicely done by Tempo Storm to just keep the pressure on as they took that, took that bomb site and not let Liquid get into good retake positions. And now coming into the second round here, we're going to see what Tempo Storm is doing. A couple players heading up to alt mid again here. We're seeing SMG pickups <laughs> at the wazoo here. Glorens as well is going to be picking up a Galil, but the Wandi comes out there from Nap. Beautiful headshot takes out Hades to start and immediately is going to put Tempo Storm behind Fugly as well. Gets oh, a second one there as he takes out Rix and just like that, Tempo Storm are down to a three versus five. Yeah, this is brutal. So down to a, yeah, and no shots even really fired outside of those two liquid players. So two bullets, two headshots. And they're really spread out at the There is one player over towards Halls. Uh, that's Glorens who's working his way up. Two are going to come up mid, and there's a lot of room being given by Liquid. Now, they're up two players, so they can they can just play spotty, and they can just fall back and turtle into the site after they see things. Adren just spots one rap side. That's Stannis Law, and they're slowly working their way up. But Pop Flash doesn't blind anyone. He gets taken out. Still, the rotations come in. The Deagles are still in pit, and this is so dangerous for Tempo Storm. Naf having a little bit of trouble here now, but does connect the shots there, taking out Stannis all the way onto the site. Nitro is well performing, takes out Glorens before Slip finally takes him down. But now Elise comes in, takes out Slip, and Team Liquid respond beautifully to losing that pistol round, tying it up immediately now at 1 1. Yeah, Naf and Fugly combined for two kills pretty much immediately with those one digs and the rest of them. You know, it's pretty easy from there. They suck him into that bomb site into a crossfire from Pit and the Hulls, so Liquid responds perfectly, winning that second round. Now we're going to see here, see what Tempo Storm is trying to pick up. They're just going to pick up some pistols here once again as they're, after they lose that. Not going to have a lot of money to carry into the next round. Team Liquid, of course, is going to pick up some anti-eco here, see what they can pull. Famas is going to get brought out here by Naf as well, and Nitro is going to be taking that stolen Galil that he took off of Tempo Storm from the previous round. As for Tempo Storm, trying to see where they're going to work. A lot of guys heading up through alt mid at the moment. Stanislaw is going to be the first inside of the apartments right now. Won't be finding anything in there just yet, so those guys will be able to take that, hey. but take a look at Naf now. Yeah, Hades is going to smoke off truck, and they're going to hit this A site. Naf's just up on the balcony. He's going to spray the first one down. he got a lot more to do. He runs out of bullets, pulls out the deagle, grabs one more, and you get a second one. He does. Actually, that's three for Naf on the round. And a very good cleanup on that on that execution there. That's a pretty popular anti-eco strategy, just smoking off that truck. Uh, Titan's been using it a lot recently. Uh, you've seen other teams uh, come in, uh, start using it, bring it into play a little bit more. So nice position there from Naf and Nitro, who just cleaned that hit up. Absolutely. And now once again, Team Liquid takes the advantage here. It's Tempo Storm going to keep themselves saving once more. A couple Deagles coming out here once again, specifically from Slip Hades and Glorins. And beyond that, the rest of the guys are going to save up. Stanislaw is going to pick up a smoke, which he's going to toss out immediately up towards mid. And he does have a flash as well here. But some aggression coming out from Team Liquid now as they do go for a nade stack down banana. Not going to be able to catch anything with that yet. And as well, it is going to be mollied off, so they won't be able to pressure into these guys just but as you take a look here, Tempo Storm is fragmented at the moment. If they do push through with these guys, they might be able to catch a couple members of Tempo Storm off and start them off with an early lead here. But with the smoke, I don't think that they're going to be wanting to do it just yet. But take a look at this boost now coming out from Hades. Hades is going to try to see if he can catch anything down. Banana Fugly not checking that one, but he might have been able to find him. At, as you'll see, Hades taking a look. Doesn't spot it, though. And Fugly takes out Hades to start Liquid off in an advantage position. Yeah, that was dangerous. Hades had one chance to hit that shot. Just kind of misses it. But it was a good idea. That's something we normally see out of Oppers, but... 
Hades had a good read on that situation there. And, and still, look at Team Liquid. Look at how passive they're playing so far back at the moment. We saw CLG play, uh, I can't remember what team it was. It was, it was another one of the move-ups, and they were just overly aggressive down mid, and they shut things down before it could even begin. But Liquid taking a different route. Even going to fall all the way back into this B bomb side, despite the advantage of weaponry. And again, as we just said, Liquid, they're holding back right now. The guys on Temple Storm, they've moved in towards the upper part of Banana right now. But Liquid again here trying to hold it. Gorns is able to find a headshot, but Elise as well is holding off here. But Slip oh. pops through there, gets a headshot with the Deagle and another one immediately after that to take out Elise and Adren. Now they're on site. They've got a man advantage here. Rix is taking some damage, though, so he's going to get brought down low. Slip holding just outside in the guard right now. He is going to be able to connect to Sean to Nitro, bringing him down to 62 HP. And unfortunately, Team Liquid are not working with the best situation right now for a retake. Yeah, they were just played far too passive. They seemed so scared to peek those pistols, and now it's up to Nitro, Buck or Nap. Nap gets one, but Glorens cleans things up. So these deagles on these eco rounds have been brutal, and we saw a lot of that last night. But the two B defenders with pistols and flashbangs, they were playing so scared at the bomb site and at the uh, and in the uh, the choke point over towards CT spawn. It was just like they were just swinging out trying to connect with a couple lucky shots instead of committing. It's you know, you're going against the pistols with no armor. Just take the fight. <laughs> pretty much, and now we're going to see Tempo Storm tying things up because of that. They do have pretty much, they have a pretty big buy coming out from these guys. Still going to see a Galil and a Famas here from Rix, as well as Glorns as well, but full nades and all that still coming out for the most part as well. And Tempo Storm now pushing to Liquid. Liquid still has a full arsenal as well, so we're going to see just what these teams are able to work with now that both really have a pretty big and heavy arsenal to their names now. Yeah, and this is a big round for, uh, for Liquid here buying up and and no no really advancement from uh from tempo storm one thing they have done they've taken hall's control slips up there he jumped in the window and that's good and halls is one of the spots that kind of gets ignored at time but it's one of the few spots oh hey oh, he smoke spams the corner but gets responded in kind so that's a one for one trade down to a four on four now here once again we're trying to see what tempo storm is going to work with a lot of their guys hanging out inside they're inside of the apartments or around the mid area right now trying to find a way on a liquid has caught on to this though and they have three players but now as you'll see from tempo they are going to move the bomb carrier back over towards Benoit, where right now it's only going to be a liege hanging out there so if they do go for an aggressive enough of enough pusher they still have quite a few smokes they can definitely pull it off if they're able to push into this site quickly enough liquid's catching on though then they can definitely get control of the site and hopefully get the bomb down at the very least yeah, it's gonna all it's all gonna be up to how Adren is able to support him, how long Elise is gonna be able to survive. They have a couple pop flashes to work with. And there it is. The smoke start coming over. Elise throws one out. He throws out a second one, but he didn't want to get shot, so he bounces it off the uh, off the roof and he's stuck behind his smoke right now, trying to find a kill. Adren comes in to support him. They have a crossfire, but Sand gets the first one. Adren grabs two, so down to a two on two. Nitro's the closest one. His teammate is so far away, just now leaving the A bomb site. So it's gonna be quite some time. Nitro's on his own to try and gain some positioning for the retake. Trying to sneak through construction at the moment, but unfortunately he is going to find that he smoked off here. Has a pop flash ready to go, though. He's going to toss that right over, see if he can find anything with that. And as you take a look now here, now that the smoke is clearing, they're going to try to push into the site now. Nice shot by Nap there. Takes out Rix all up to Glorens now to hold things off. He's hiding out inside right now, and he's actually going to be able to take out both of them. Liquid, well, unable to find Glorens, and Tempo is able to clutch the round. Very well played there by Glorens. Yeah, definitely. He's so patient as well. He had so many opportunities where... He could have peaked, but he just plays it smartly, even in a one-on-two, wins it, spins around, grabs a Nitro, so it's going to be a third one from Tempo Storm, and, you know, they're not they're not doing too much, they're just taking that Hulls control, they're pushing whatever defense is back, but the Liquids are already playing so far back, and then they've just been falling back towards B, so being very efficient, efficient on how they want to take that site. Now, once again, we're trying to see where Tempo Storm is going to decide to take themselves here now. They are pushing most of their players right now, just trying to split up and work with it have any picks they do have their bomb carrier however he is going to push back up and they've kept the bomb at the least up right now but as you take a look there too three of the players from liquid are actually stacked right there so that's going to be a bit of a hard one to work with now as you can see hades caught out in the crossfire not going to get taken down those two other liquid players only a liege has popped through right now and because of that they're not going to be able to execute here anyone from tempo storm yeah, they are just going to work that mid. Santa's on with the MAC-10. Drops one. Nap's going to push Halls, try and find some information, but Glorens is waiting for it. So Tempest Storm on the other side of the map. While they're putting pressure on Banana, the rest of them were just playing far back and waiting for a push like that. Now Fugly, what kind of magic does he have with the Deke that we've been seeing all night? Nothing so far. Let's get that one, Deke. Can he get a second one? No, he falls. That's going to be the A bomb site. Elise just left to dink Ricks and then fall to the P90. So 4-2 to two for Tempo Storm. Looking good opening up here on Inferno, but... We talked about both these teams having, having their struggles of their own kind on the CT sides.
Yeah, it's really going to come down to Tempo Storm trying to claim as many rounds as possible. If they can keep a trend like this going into the later part and be able to take a very heavy advantage at the end of this half, then it's going to look great for them. But if Liquid bounces it back, it's ba apologies, bounces it back and keeps this one to a close half, then we could very well be seeing Liquid take a pretty heavy advantage in the second half too. Yeah, here, here's what's scary for Liquid though. They don't really have a lot of utility. They have five smokes, which is good. They only have one kit and uh, just a couple flashbangs, so... This is going to be a very, very tough round for them, and they've got to, even if they win it, they've got to start building up this economy. It looks like a really heavy, very aggressive A take coming out of Tempo Storm. Nitro is playing right under the balcony. He's going to grab a blind Stanislaw. He peeks out, grabs Hades, who had the bad recoil from spraying. Three members come out, drop in a pit for Tempo Storm. It's a gunfight here. They clear out underneath the balcony. There is still one player over there, but they're stuck in the pit right now, so the rotations have come in, and they're holding them in position. Dren jumping <laughs> over the smoke finds. What a nice shot from him. And there's Naf, so... They eliminate one half of the attack up mid, and they just isolate those players inside the pit. And the Dren pops right in there to take out the last player, which is going to be Slip Liquid with a beautiful response there to hold off of the A site. And now we're going to retaliate, bringing the score up to three. We're still one behind Tempo Storm with a round like that, and he's going to put some hurt on the Tempo Storm. Yeah, but Tempo Storm's got a couple buys at them, especially if they get a bomb plant. You know, they've got a pretty decent economy behind them. Uh, Glorans, Hades, and, and Slip still pretty high up there, so a bomb plant can help them out Im immensely. And Nitro is still on that Famas with no head armor, so they're still a little bit beat up, but they're starting to stabilize a little bit with that win. They just need to string them together now. Heavy push from Tempo Storm. They're going to move up alt mid right now, see if they can catch anything there. No progress made just as of yet. And we'll see once again what they're able to work with this one as... In just a moment here, they should be able to make their way, and they've slowed it down once they've gotten to the top of all mid, but Stanislaw is going to go through mid right now, see if he can catch anything there. Taking a look at Naf now, holding off in the pit. He is going to be able to find a headshot kill over here on a slip, takes him down, and just like that, that pushes Tempo Storm back, and they are having second thoughts, even though they do have two players on the site smoked off right now, too. He's going to be Andrin, as, or Dren, rather, as well as Nitro. There's these guys on Liquid still trying to find their way into the site as Tempo Storm will finally take control. Yeah, and being very cautious about planting the bomb, make sure they've secured the bomb site before doing so, and how it's onto a tough retake. If this Halls player go to, goes down, though, it could be very scary. There are three stuck inside the bomb site. But here comes Fugly up lane. He's got a teammate behind him. That's a liege. They're going to have a lot of work to do. Nitro coming from the other side. They're getting flanked out in lane, though, and there's Rix with that flank. Takes out the last player. So a nice take on that A bomb site from Tempo Storm. And Liquid played that so passively. They had one player in the pit who who got a nice, nice initial kill, but the rest of his teammates got stuck behind a smoke and moto, and... Couldn't assist him, even though he survived for quite some time. And now, as we head into the next one here, trying to see what Team Liquid is going to be picking up on a fairly limited economy now. Only one flash at all, and beyond that, a couple deagles and P250s. The rest of these guys not going to be picking up too much. 5-7 from Adren as well, and unfortunately, this should be another easy lineup for Tempo Storm, unless they screw up seriously here and lose players to a bit of a bad peak or something like that. Yeah, well, they did blow it on the second round, didn't they? Or That's they very true. Got, they just got one deag, so... It could be scary for them, but... Look at this stack going on, by the way, at the, uh... Oh, they had one of... They have, they have a lot of players uh, underneath the porch right now, so anyone coming up mid could get could get beat up rather easily. But right now, just throwing some smokes, trying to bait out any kind of flashes or shots, and trying to make them feel a little bit uncomfortable. It's working. Alicia's gonna have to hold down this B bomb site if they actually ag aggress and put any pressure on it. You're seeing here, too, very slow workout from these two players on Tempo Storm right now, trying to make their way up and end, and this could set themselves up for a potential fake with the other three pushing actually into the A side. Unfortunately, that really won't work into their favor if they do decide to do that best course here from Tempo Storm is going to be either to pull a full 360 and head towards B or go for this full solidified push but even that will get a bit aggressive grenades coming out here right now now blind firing through the smoke trying to see if he can find anything Stanislaw is going to get not one but two frags here both the Dread and Fugly to start things off and now that they've made their way in they've seen the team liquid is pretty much all there so they're going to completely turn themselves around and start to head over towards the B site Glorans as well who's camping out inside of the apartments right now he's able to take out Nitro and the rest of those guys are already hightailing it over towards the B site yeah, Leash having a tough time connecting. He didn't get Rix, but he's just going to get taken out. So there were a lot of players for Liquid stacked. That, that was that was the attack they wanted. They wanted him to come up mid and take that fight. And they just didn't win it. So nicely done by Stanislaw mowing down two. And now Liquid's got you know a decision to make here. And they are going to go ahead and buy up. Another situation where their economy isn't allowing them to do everything they probably want. Nitro back on a Famas once again. Only one kit on a NAF. And no head armor on any of them. Not too big of a deal against the AK-47s, but... Nitro doesn't even have any smokes or flashes or whatever, so very, very difficult situation for them. Where they're going to start to need rounds more than they need to save here, so really it's kind of going to get desperate pretty soon.
Yeah. And now we'll see two. Team Liquid trying to go for that triple stack down Banana again. Not really going to work out too obviously as Tempo Storm going for a big push into the A site here. Very little resistance from the guys on Liquid at all. But Naf here is going to try to hold out Nitro as well. Does get taken out by Stanislaw. Glorins though tries to tries to make his way in through the balcony. Not going to work out so well. And Naf here kicking some butt already up to three frags. A Dren coming in there as well is able to take out Stanislaw. And just like that, all down to Ricks. And it looks like Team Liquid should be taking this round. Yeah, Naf was an absolute hero that round of three kills, and there's Rick's getting one on the Fugly, so nice shot by him, finds the angle. He, can't, he doesn't really have any kind of an opportunity to win this round other than taking some guns out of their hands, forcing some rebuys, and keeping the economy low, but... You, you gotta say, Naf and Pit, you know, he would have he would have done great with just two kills and staying alive. He gets a third one and just saves the day, so... He makes up for Nitro falling early, and that's going to be the fourth round for Liquid. It looks like Rix just wants to save the weapon. He's only got 900, so not the worst idea if they let him live, and they really can't afford to chase him down. That's the other thing. I'm sure Liquid would love to take this gun out of his hands, but they don't have the money. If they do happen to lose one more rifle, they, they just keep getting beat up in terms of their money. So no point in risking it there. Really convenient too for it to be Rick, so the rest of Tempo Storm shouldn't have too much of an issue buying after this one. If he's assuming he's able to save this rifle, as Tempo Storm is quite a bit stacked up in their economy right now. But it looks like, again, pretty much as you said, Team Liquid is just going to sit back for the time being, not going to want to take a risk on pushing out towards him, so Rick should have no trouble saving this AK, taking the next round. Has head armor there too, as well as that flash. He'll take that into the next round, and Liquid will take the actual round win. Yeah, and Tempo Storm's doing some really simple, very basic things to kind of switch up the looks they're giving Liquid. They're, they're not running anything that fancy, but they're just switching things up the speed and, and with the aggression that they're doing it. Some, you know, they've spread out into these defaults a couple times, and then a, a few times they've just kind of walked up to A and just executed within the first 30 seconds. So they're trying to catch Liquid players a little bit off guard, especially knowing probably how, how low their economy was. You know, they don't have all the smokes and, and Molotovs they'd want, so they know there'd be a little bit of a window of opportunity. And now look at this, a heavy B play, four people. So Legion and Fugly are going to have their hands full coming up soon. Absolutely, and this is very odd from Tempo. Tempo haven't really tried anything like this just as of yet here, so this could potentially catch Liquid off of guard. Nice grenade, though, does put some damage on the slip here, and we are going to see now the guys over here on Tempo Storm holding back once again as this Molly does come off. They'll smoke it off immediately after that, and Tempo Storm, unfortunately, will have no choice but to hold back here for a few moments. They are going to move Hades off of this one as well. Hades is going to be taking a look down mid just to ensure that no one from Liquid is creeping up behind them. But for the time being, this, uh, this smoke here from Liquid is going to hold back the guys on Tempo. And Tempo will really have nothing to work with right now. Yeah, and, and no, no, no noise whatsoever in mid or alt mid. I mean... Temple Storm has no possession of any kind of map control, so it's definitely going to be this B hit. Elise drops that Molotov. That's doing a lot of damage. Sam's forced to run through. He gets sprayed down blind. Elise burns one as well, so his attack gets cut off and stopped. Fantastic defense from Elise and Fugly over at B. Tempo Storm just gonna try to go for it here. Elise though holds off, takes out both Hades and Rick before Glorins is able to finally eliminate Elise. But it's now just all up to Glorins, and unfortunately with Team Liquid already rotating into the site once more, not a lot for the last player on Tempo Storm to get to do. And he's probably just gonna have to hold on to this rifle and see if he can take it to the next round. But he might actually decide to go for it here. Goes for that pop flash, creeping out around the corner right now, but immediately has some second thoughts about that as he tries to creep back. Only 15 seconds left on the clock here anyway. Just gonna probably try to hold this angle and see if he can take it to the next round, but that's not gonna happen. Pops out, Fugly takes him out. And Team Liquid will take that round. Now only just about one more behind from tying it up on Tempo Storm with a score of 6-6 potentially. Right, and a couple of fantastic efforts individually on defense there from uh, from Elysian and, and Naf the round before at the A bomb site. So multi kills, three and four kills for both of them playing very very well. And that Molotov he dropped was crucial because you could see the rest of the rest of Tempo Storm. Two players got through it. One had to run through and take a lot of damage, but the rest of them just got stuck behind it. One of those situations where they just felt like they'd lose too much to run through it, and it effectively just just breaks that down and. That was crucial because it's a round where, where Temple Storm, it's all five players to be for basically the whole round for that execution and just, you know, default stops it. Now, as we're going to see here, too, now that Tempo Storm's economy has been hit pretty heavily here, they are not going to be able to pick up much. Once again, going heavy on the Deagles to see if they can make anything work with that. Only one player is going to be able to pick up head armor, and that's going to be Stanislaw as he comes at P250 as well. The rest of them, they were working B here for a little bit, trying to see if they can make any progress there, but have already had some second thoughts about that, and now there is a little bit of a stack lining up to try to either jump into the apartments or work with mid here. Looks like it's going to be mid, though, as they're setting up to smoke it right now, and they'll probably push in in just a second. Yeah, but Adren's playing very alone at the moment. Nitro looks like he doesn't want to get aggressive. He's trying to get Adren to fall back and finally listens to him. Gets back into the bomb site. He was very, very isolated. And now it's Naf all alone on the rap side. He's protected by a smoke spraying through, doing some damage. And now they're going to come for him. So he reloads. Able to spray one down. A second one down as well. And two more to deal with. A nice headshot. 
Now down to a two versus four here, and just like that, the rest of the guys on Temple Storm get eliminated. Team Liquid takes the round, tying it up at 6-6, picking up pretty much four AKs as well here now for the guys on Team Liquid. So Team Liquid sitting very, very pretty right now in terms of their economy and their weapon setup. Whereas Tempo Storm, unfortunately, again, kind of expect them to lose that pistol round, but now they're going to be able to bring out a full arsenal for the most part once again here as well. And we'll see what they can work at as the score ties itself up here. Yeah, they have six rounds already, which is good. So the rest of these, anything after this is kind of, it's just gravy. Although with their CT side struggles, you'd expect they want to get everything. Nav's going to, much like he did pissed around, get aggressive into the window, go for a pick, but he eats a nade for his trouble. And he's not even going to fall back. He's actually going to push Halls and grab the angle. He's got to be careful, though, because one, one went to the left, so that could be scary. Fugly drops one over at B. Liquid, though, still playing it safe. They are just going to continue to smoke off Banana for the time being here. Not going to want to take a risk on uh, risking pushing through that and potentially losing any players with that. This will allow the guys on Tempo Storm to push through here once again as well. Move their bomb carry out from the T-Ramp here too and hopefully move it over towards A if that's what they do end up deciding to do. But this might end up getting a little bit rough as Liquid is now rotating their players over towards this as well. Still has smoke set up here so Tempo Storm should be able to get through mid without too much trouble with these smokes. Are probably going to sound off the alarms on the Liquid radar here and they're just going to rotate those other two players in which means Tempo Storm once again might just decide to turn it on to 180 once again and head over to B. Yeah, but... Being a, being in a one man deficit already, I mean, Liquid can just kind of turtle up into the bomb site, and on top of that, they have an ADVP in Nav's hands, which I believe is the first op we've seen out of the CTs this half. So that might throw him for a little bit of a loop. But Adren's got to start coming back towards B. He's got to start feeling the pressure there, and he is. He's already rotated to CT spawn, so him and Fugger are going to crossfire set up. And here comes the smokes. Molly gonna get popped down there as well, doing a lot of damage now as at least Slip gets trapped inside of a corner here. Nowhere he can run, already a 3 for 1 trade, down to Glorans again, and just like that, Liquid with a beautiful cleanup on the B site, now will take the lead against Tempo Storm. Yeah, started out a little shaky for Liquid, but they've, they've really stepped things up. They kind of found their groove a little bit. Some great crossfires have been set up on these on this at this B bomb site in the rounds where they've actually hit it. Now they pass the op over to Adren, who's got a great spawn for a mid-peak, so... Expect him to just kind of swing out and peer towards the uh, the terrorist ramp. We're going to see if he's able to work anything with that or if Tempo Storm will play into that angle at all. A lot of players going towards alt mid. We're only going to see one player head into that and it gets smoked off. A little, little bit of a corner for him to peek through though, so he might be able to catch. I believe it's Hades here in just a second, but unfortunately not going to be able to find that. Tosses a grenade back there instead. And we'll only connect a little bit of damage there. So thankfully Tempo Storm is able to avoid that. But now as they pop through mid here, a little bit of trouble for Adren as finally connecting a shot there. Stanislaw though was able to take out Nitro to get it into a one-for-one -one trade. Easily though, Nath once again will, will put Liquid into a leading position. Hades again though tying these up. Ricks as well is going to take down Nath. And now down to a two versus three in the favor of Tempo as they get onto the A site. But no, Elise catches Ricks as he tries to get down to the pit. Down to a two versus two. Molly on the site here as well. Hades is going to get forced off this one in just a second. Elise takes out Slip. And now the rest of them working onto the site. They eliminate. Hades and Liquid with a beautiful recovery once again here will now take a two round lead against Tempo as they have plenty of time to defuse this bomb. Yeah, Rick's taking a huge gamble trying to get out of the bomb site in the pit to pick up a weapon. He gets punished for it, but a good retake with those Molotovs being very, very patient. That was a really, really awkward situation for Adren. Once they came up mid, missed a couple of shots, but then, you know, he rotates back to kind of defend the rap side, thinking all the terrorists went that way and he gets flanked out. So very scary dropping that gun, but. Not thinking too much of it. They did pick up a double off setup here, so they have two of them to play with this round. And it does look like they dropped a couple extra Colts here in CT spawn. In case those ops have to rotate to either one of the bomb sites, they can just pick up a rifle on the way. It'd be much, much more effective on a retake. And again, Team Liquid going to go for this little bit of an aggressive peek. Specifically, Adren, of course, going to take the opposition just behind the car here. Fugly, as well, is getting ready to fire some shots, just trying to see if he can catch anyone with that. There's a little bit of a boost happening here as well from the guys on a Tempo Storm, but they, again, di dissipate that pretty quickly here as they are not going to find any aggression from Team Liquid at the start of this one. The rest of Tempo Storm kind of pushing up up towards the apartments right now. A lot of players moving towards mid here as well. Two players looking to peek through that one. No pressure from Liquid, so they should be able to get through there without too much trouble. But when they actually move towards the A site, and especially if they head in the direction of arches they might find a little bit of trouble but considering they just smoked off arches probably gonna head down through porch and then see if they can get over that other way through porch yeah and a fourth player rotating over towards CT spawn to set up a crossfire on the rap side that could be dangerous it is fugly he's just holding a pop flash out if there's any kind of an execute to bail out a liege 
But the bomb, they, uh, Temple Storm's not committed up mid, so they, they take mid control, they make a presence there, and now they're falling back, and Adren's all over, all alone at B. He's at the car with an AWP, and he could catch someone off, but a flash comes over, completely blinds him, and now he's in some trouble. He's gonna give up that ground completely there as he tosses out a counter flash to see if he can hold back Tempo Storm a little bit here. Could have potentially taken up players, but he's gonna take the safe route and instead here. This team has a lead. They wanna try and get that 9-6 half, and we're gonna see if they can go for it right now. Is Adren holding off here? Does find a headshot in the slip. The rest of the moving on. Takes a second one on Stanislaw, and we're gonna see Fugly as well. Takes out Rix before we finally see a return from Temple Storm. Glorin's able to get a headshot kill to Fugly, but unfortunately, all down to Glorin's once more, and the rest of Team Liquid is on the way to this site. Only eight seconds left on the clock. He can't make anything happen here, and Team Liquid are gonna be taking this half. 9-6 is going to be the final score. Yeah, really, really nice recovery. They're winning six straight, down 6-3, to three, and, then, and then to win out from there. So really well done by Liquid, picking up the teamwork there in the second half of, of the first half. So now it's going to be all on, on Tempo Storm to, to show us what they've got on their CT side. You know, Liquid, uh, we talked about, struggled on CT side, so does Tempo Storm. So is Liquid going to have the same woes they have on their T-side? Uh, their terror sides have been 14%. We, we said that before the match started. So how are we going to see them come out and play? Are we going to see that passive, you know, uh, really laid-back setups where they where they just wait everything out and then choose for an executor? Are we going to see some of their entry fraggers like Naf and Fugly, Elise and Nitra? Are we going to gonna see those guys get into the action very, very early on and win some initial battles? Same story is really going to be here for Tempo Storm. Will they decide to play things passively or will they go for that aggressive peak? I would think, based on the way that this one's going, the passive play, and just with the way the map plays, the passive play is going to work better for these guys. But again, with them not being able to take the advantage on what was arguably their better side on T side, they definitely have to be feeling the pressure a little bit now as they have switched over to CT, and they are still three rounds behind Liquid here. Pistol round's going to be big for these guys. Yeah, and they're not not—they're not necessarily known Tempo Storm as a passive team. They're, they're known for more of an uh, aggressive team. Players like Rix and Slip love to get aggressive. Uh, the scary thing is they, they played a little bit of a passive setup last night on Cash. They gave up mid control, like I said, just round after round. They didn't really contest for it at all, and they really got punished for it. So I would, I would honestly expect them to not not want to play passive at all whatsoever. And we see Glorens again uh, getting that getting those uh, duelies out. Yeah, interesting. So now we'll see what he's able to work with that complete bout from him as he takes a smoke here as well. The rest of the guy's just going to go for a couple grenades on Tempo Storm and Liquid for the most part just going to stick with armor buys. Naf is going to gra grab some grenades to see if they can make any strategical plays with that. Hades was actually dropped to P250, so is Slip. And we're going to see as well via the play already getting started. Liquid Elise already with two kills onto the board. Oh here takes up Lord. with Glorins as well as Hades. Not a good start for Tempo. And unfortunately, as well here, their two players are on side of B right now, which is going to allow them to get in. Stanislaw, go ahead. The, the, those two players, that was such a huge investment. They each had, you know, P250, or Glorence had the had the duelies, but Hades had P250 armor, and he just gets shut down immediately, so Elise just clotheslining two players on his way into A-Halls. And I, I mean, look at this retake. This is perfect from Liquid. They smoked off Small Pit, they kept him back, they take those long angles in the pit, and there's no chance here for Tempo Storm to do anything. Yep, Rix is trying to get himself in, but he's blocked off here by Naf inside of Boiler. Does get a headshot to take out Naf, but again, absolutely no time to work with anything here, so they're both just going to fall back, and Liquid again with that beautiful entry onto the site. Tempo Storm, unfortunately, plays some risk there, losing those two players at the start. <laughs> Gives Liquid a fairly easy execute onto the A site, and plenty of the bomb as well. Not a lot of trouble. Rix will take Fugly with him before he goes down, but still Liquid gets the round, and that's the important thing here. That's that's the power of the entry fraggers out of Liquid, and when they let someone like Elise just go like that, I mean, you know, we talked about how passive they've been playing on their terror side. That round, it's just this quick rush up the stairs, and Elise just punishes two players. So that's what these players are able to do. Fugly, Nitro, Elise, uh, and even Nav a little bit when he was a starter for this team. Uh, you know, they're all just great fraggers early on if you can if you unleash them a little bit and let them do their thing. Now Liquid once again, very fast push coming up in Anna right now, but it's going to be countered out here as well by Tempo Storm. Stanislaw unfortunately exposed himself far too heavily. Elise is going to get a nice easy frag to take him out. Rest of Liquid is trying to work out there. Tempo Storm as well is going to attempt to hold them back, but not a lot of progress being made. You will note here too that Fugly holding off just by the tree here outside of the T-steps inside of the apartments does a lot of damage to Glorins once again as he tries to come up behind these guys hiding inside of Mexico right now, trying to see if he's going to be able to catch anyone on Liquid off guard, but probably not going to be happening as he took all that damage from Fugly and now sitting down with 9 HP and nothing left to do. Liquid has all the room in the world to work with right now. Yeah, now Fugly's got to be worried about Hades, who's making a play in the halls. Misses a couple shots. Fugly's got his number, but misses the shot. So that leaves just four players in Banana working their way up towards B, and Tempo Storm has a good read, but they're just so incredibly outclassed in terms of their art, in terms of their weaponry. Slip as well here gets caught with a grenade out. Naf gets the easy kill onto him. Rix will respond with his own frag onto Naf to take him out. Down to a three versus two. Not completely unwinnable for Tempo Storm, but they do have one player already over on A. He's got to make a big rotation here, heading through CT spot. 
and Rix as well is not in the best position to go for a retake, so unfortunately, don't believe they're going to be able to make it happen, and indeed, it seems to uh, reiterate that now, as we'll see them basically falling away here. They're just going to save what they've been able to steal off of the corpses of Team Liquid, and they'll let Team Liquid take another round here. Yeah, they, they've done decent damage. They got two kills, but they're going to go with that Galil. Rix ha didn't buy armor this round because he saved it from the pistol round, and he still got a CZ, so... There's an investment there that they want to make next round, so they're setting themselves up nicely to do damage to the economy uh, in the second eco round. And with that said here, Liquid is going to remain fairly healthy. The damage done by taking out those two players is going to be fairly apparent, but with most of the guys on Liquid picking up some fairly light buys, I think we should still be able to see them pick up stuff as well here as we head into the third round, and indeed that's going to be the case. Three AKs, full nades for the most part here as well, and these one, everybody's got armor. Dren's still going to be sticking with that MAC-10, and as for Tempo Storm here, still going to be sticking with pistols right now, no huge force buys or anything, but they have managed to pick up that Galil, and this means Hades as well is going to be free to pick up armor as well as a flashbang for himself. And they're doing a, they have this massive sack of right here right now, they didn't even send anyone towards B, so... Betting pretty heavily on that, but unfortunately not going to be able to bring this into much yeah, fruition here. They basically have two two pop flashes for rap side, so if they if they hear any Team Liquid execute up to the rap side, they have two different players you can throw staggered pop flashes for him. Hades all alone in the pit with that Galil, so hoping that he can get a kill or two, or at least delay a hit up lane side. But, I mean, this is scary because Nitro is being very ballsy, very aggressive on bees, trying to clear it out as best he can. They do Molotov off those first oranges to help him out. He doesn't even look towards CT spawn. The smoke is already starting to disappear. Now they're going to hit it. He thinks it's clear. Rix finds the angle, and the rotation comes in. They haven't committed with the bomb yet, so that's a good thing. But we'll see how, what they have because this retake is already here. Tempo Storm's all five here. They're ready to go. Adren's going to take one off coming through the smoke, but everyone else is coming through as well, and they've got to be careful. There's still a smoke over at Spindle, and that holds them back just for the time being. And with that said, Liquid should be able to get the bomb down. They're going to get for that plan off right now. Everyone on Tempo Storm hiding out inside of construction right now with no other angles really to work with. Unfortunately, going to limit their options for a retake. Hades as well pops out, gets taken out there by a Liege as he's going to eliminate him. And now in a two versus four, it looks like Rix once more will just try to pick up that Galil. He is trapped right now, though, so can't really get away from this one. He's going to have to make a stand here, see if he can take anyone with him. And he is going to have to give Liquid this round, probably. Yeah, no shot at winning it. Naf's just going to clean him out. So heading into that first gun round, it's going to be 12 to 6. Liquid uh, managing those, those anti-ecos very, very well. Only losing three players total in, in both rounds combined. And this is a team Tempo Storm last night. I mean, this is something they didn't. I don't. They didn't really have the money for it. They chose to buy up utility instead of the head armor. But even last night, when they had thousands of dollars and they had the money for it, they weren't buying head armor. So they're really taking these uh, the CT buying a little bit seriously by not picking up that head armor, and that's kind of scary at times. Yeah, and we will now see what the guys on Team Liquid are going to be doing here. Again, three players pushing up towards Banana right now, trying to see if they can make anything work with that. And it's actually going to go pretty well here. Molly does block off their third player, Adren, but they're still able to work through here as they take out one of the players here from Tempo. But Rick's quick to respond, though, takes out Nitro and even things out to a four versus four now. As we'll still see those other two players from Liquid as well. They're also going to be jumping into the apartments, trying to see if they can catch anyone from Tempo Storm hiding out either in there. Back over here on the A site. Glorin's hiding out here on the balcony right now. We'll try to catch any of these guys if they try to go down long haul out through the balcony. And also on site is going to be Slip here too. Hades also will join the fray now as he rotates in. Yeah, I, I didn't like that secondary peak from Nitro. Him and Elise combined to get an entry frag. You're up 5-4. to four. Just take that win and slow things down. But he decides to get aggressive through a smoke and peak that angle. It's punished for it. Now they're going to work their way up mid. There's there's three uh, three liquid players. One in halls, two working their way up mid. That's uh, Dren and Nath. And using the smoke a little bit, but now that they put that pressure, they're going to fall off. They're keeping three players over at B, but Hades has a good read on the situation. He's immediately falling back towards B. Just kind of gambling that that's where they want to go, and, and there he's gambling correctly, but there's no smokes left over at B, so this is kind of going to be pretty open for Liquid to take this hit, aside from the two players they're going to have to deal with. Rix is crouched just in front of the stairs. He gets dropped. Naf wins that battle. Now Hades as well here, gonna go for some blind spray, see if he can pick anyone up there. Naf was able to make his way through before that blind spray connected onto him, so he's gonna be surviving Elise with a quick jump up there. Thankfully, Hades not gonna push through with this smoke and play, but he does jump up on top of the boxes now. We'll see if he can catch out Hades or anyone else from Tempo Storm that tries to rotate in. And overall, though, these two Liquid players are in a bit of a bad spot, hiding behind second box right now. Dren is kinda just stuck here with Fugly right now, gets flashed off there too, but here comes the rest of Tempo Storm now, trying to make their way, and Elise is able to get a headshot, or not headshot, uh, is able to take out Hades there. And now we're gonna see, once again, a slip. The smoke's starting to expire here. Will he be able to catch anything? Unfortunately not. Beautifully timed flash. And just like that, Liquid will clean things up with keeping th all four of their players alive, only losing Nitro in the process of that round there. Yeah, poor Slip was so incredibly <laughs> blind. 
<laughs> that, that, was a, that was a weird retake because they had three players there, and it, and it was definitely doable, but it looked like some of them wanted to wait for the smoke to disappear, and Hades went through it, and he didn't have anyone coming through with them to trade, and, and even from CT spawn didn't come through the smoke to help them out. So you know, those are situations where it might be better if, if you're not all going to go through, if you're not all coordinated, just fall back and save those guns and, and, and fight for this, this round because now they're going to be forced you know, to buy the CZ, buy the P250s, or do basically a full save where they could have had three rifles for it and even dropped some Thomases. Metal's getting so close here to Team Liquid, um, claiming victory on this map too. It's got to be hurting Tempo Storm here as well. They're going to be getting pretty desperate here pretty shortly as they know they need to make this comeback happen surely if they want to have any chance of taking this map against Liquid right now as they are absolutely soaring ahead. So far, I don't believe Tempo Storm has been able to take a single round here on their CT side. No, it's been 4-0. It's, it's been all Liquid so far this half, playing very, very well. and. You've seen it, even on pistol round on that first gun round, just two players being very, very aggressive over towards B and getting an entry. And now, look again, they're going to test the test the bomb site B. There are three players over there with the fourth one rotating, so this is kind of a scary stack for Team Liquid. Now Team Liquid as well, playing it very patiently. A liege is going to pop through to see if he can find anything, but. Really gonna be the case. Actually, no Adren and Elise both able to take out Rix and Stannis. Well, Hades will also fall to Fugly elsewhere on the map there too. Down to only two defenders now from Tempo Storm. As we see Glorence taking out Nitro, Adren returns that back over on the Glorence. And just like that, it's off to slip to try and one versus three this. And it's not gonna be happening as Liquid claim yet another round, continuing their onslaught here on their T side. Very, very smart play from Liquid on that anti-eco. They send they send they smoke off CT spawn and send a liege into water. So just send them to, to, to clear out the bomb site, try and find some angles, try and find some opponents, and they just have two players far back, you know, watching for any peek from another from another Tempo Storm player. So Adren on the cart was able to get Rix, who heard him kind of cross in beneath him, and he tried to go for a cheeky peek, but gets dropped. So they send one player in, because even if they find it, even if he dies to a stack, they know exactly how many numbers are there, and the rest of the teammate can fall off. And now the solution for Tempo Storm at the moment, they believe it's going to be Hades and his AWP. Good Molly here will block off the guys on Team Liquid from pushing up Banana right now. They'll keep the bomb there too and rotate things to try and work the angle up through mid instead here. But there's also a hold coming out from Hades too. He does get forced back though, so he's going to play things very passively once more. Not going to want to risk losing such a big power weapon like the off at this current stage of the And as for that temp, Team Liquid as well here, still with a little bit of hesitation on their end. Still trying to decide where exactly they want to push it, but setting up for smokes through a push on mid now. This will be the name of the game for these guys as they should be executing this pretty shortly. Yeah, throwing their smokes, taking mid up very cautious. It's going to be all Hades and library. He's got an AWP, does find the first kill onto Adren. A lot more to do. He's just going to drop a smoke, and now Fugly, this is his time to lurk out the halls, but he gets hit by a Molotov and slowed down, and now he's blocked off for a number of seconds. Hades goes down to Nitro. Now they're up ramp side. Nitro with another nice shot onto Slip. Opens up the bomb side. Just Glorence. He's got to stay alive or take out Fugly. And he does grab Fugly, so he's got great position in this pit to keep him, keep him from setting up a defensive. And Naf inside the bomb side finds a nice headshot. Down to a two on two, but the liquid players are so incredibly low, and there's no spot, all because Glorens is still alive. Sprays one down, and Elige feeling very lonely with 15 HP, gonna try and find the headshot, but he's gotta hit two clean ones, and Santa's Law just finishes it off coming behind him. Great so, blocks in there from the guys on Storm, just able to come in there, retake the site beautifully. Team Liquid did not clear out enough there when they made their end of the site, and that gave, that gave the guys on Storm a lot to work with here as they went for the retake. Yeah, it was all Glorans and Pit. Staying alive for that long, it denies them from being able to get out of the bomb site once they got into it. Despite two amazing entry shots from Nitro, uh, just nowhere to go for Team Liquid after the plant. It was interesting too, I really thought they were going to drop that one after they lost the op there too, as it seemed like, like you said, they had those two beautiful frags to get themselves into the site, it was just, again, they left that player alive in Pit, and he absolutely destroyed them, as there was no one there that had really the balls to pop out and try to punish him for it, unfortunately, as it was going to be too risky to jump out of the site. Yeah, it's it's such a crucial position to hold when the attack comes from that from that rap side versus coming up lane. You know, when you have when you have opponents coming up lane, you know they're going to clear out that pit first and then make their way into the bomb site. But when they come from rap side, you know having one player in pit is just absolutely brutal to deal with. And Glorence shows you why there. Even salvages the op for Hades again. So they're going to have that round with uh, they're going to have that sniper rifle for this round. And we haven't really talked about scores so far. Glorens is uh, is seventeen and fourteen for his team. Rix is at 14 and 14, Sanazal's at 13, and then on the Liquid side, it's it's Naf leading the way with 21, Elysia with 19, and Adren with 17, so pretty good distribution of frags uh, among the top three of both teams. Yeah, definitely. Naf as well was making some absolutely beautiful plays in the first half, and he's definitely carried it over into the second half now. He plays with the Deagles and so on as they headed into the bigger rifle rounds there too. He was absolutely performing very well here and was able to take Team Liquid through some very rough situations.
Yeah, Nat Naf had a, had a couple great rounds. Him and uh, it was him and who was the him and Elige that Elige, you know, really yeah. sparked the not necessarily a comeback, but that six round win streak for him at the end of last half. Uh, Naf with a three kill round and Pit uh, at A, and then the following round is Elige with four kills over at B. So after that, it was just all liquid moving forward. And now that the match is on pause, guys, we're getting back into it here. Team Liquid now only two more rounds away from claiming this map and this match as well. It was just the best of one here. Tempo Storm with a long way to make up, although they did just finally take their first round. Oh. They're actually going to get a frag kill here. Ricks, I think, with some assistance from teammates there. Big Nade Stack is able to take out a Liege nice and early and put the guys on Tempo Storm into a very good position. Yeah, he ate two grenades just immediately right to the face from the bomb site. That was a nice stack by Tempo Storm. Nice gimmicky. Uh, opening to the round there catches Liquid off guard. And now Liquid is still going to try to push up B here, see if they can make anything happen with this push. There's two holding from Tempo Storm on that site itself. So they are just going to, I believe, pop off that flash there, see if they can make anything. Trying to set it up, though, looks like they ha do have a couple nades ready to roll if they do want to decide to push this, but it has been smoked off, unfortunately. Won't be able to do anything immediately as of yet, as Storm is still going to play it safe. But keep in mind, Storm still has three of their players sitting on A, so in the event that a quick play does come out from Team Liquid and they push all four into the site, that rotation from Tempo Storm may have to be very quickly if the holders on the site don't really actually perform too well. Okay, so smoke just goes down all, but they miss it. That's a perfect situation for Liquid to come through this, but there are two Molotovs still on these B defenders, and here comes the execution. Oh, even the Molotov is extinguished, so tough hold huh. here for Tempo Storm. Now they're trying to make their way into the site here right now, seeing if they can find anything so far, though. Actually, there you go. Nitro going to start things off, but an immediate return from Stanislaw. Nitro as well is able to take out Stanislaw, though. And Liquid is going to find their way onto the site here. Still holding, though, is going to be Hades as he finds this off shot, popping out of Garden, takes out Nap. And now only two, def or two, two defenders left here from Liquid as they have taken the site, but they've got to hold it off as the bomb is down. Unfortunately, they're going to have players coming from all avenues here, as pretty shortly, Glorence is going to be ready to push in through Banana as well. Adren could be a problem for him, but now they're pushing in. Slip making himself a little bit too aggressive there, and we're also going to see Adren taking out Glorins too, but as you'll see, Hades misses the shot, so close range, Hades gets hit with a frag, they're trying to hold C if they can find anything, Adren's not going to want to pressure him, however, only down to 10 HP, and actually switches to the pistol, gets the headshot, but even at the end of this, even if he does take out Hades, not going to have enough time, and just like that now, we will see Nitra executing the last player, and giving Liquid the round. Yeah, a uh, beautiful take. Another great entry from Nitro, who, you know, we, we, we didn't mention his name as the top fraggers, but he's getting, gotten some great entry frags for his team uh, in this in this match. And not only that, but Adren on that retake, two versus three, and, and that's a tough battle to win, and he wins it. That was absolutely crucial. If he falls there, Nitro's in a lot of trouble, but nice hold from Team Liquid on the retake. Absolutely. And we'll see, too, just what Team Liquid is trying to do. They only need one more round to take this. Should be a fairly easy one to do, too, considering what Tempo Storm has. They don't really have much in their arsenal here. And as you can see, Adren already going to start things off very well. Naf as well is able to take out Slip. Elise takes out Rick. This leaves only Glorens as well as Stanislaw alive. And just like that, Glorens is down. It looks like, guys, the Team Liquid have cleaned things up nice and easy here in the second half. Stanislaw is going to see what he can do. But again, in a one versus four, and with only this AK now to work with, it's going to be very hard, to say the least, to take this round. Yeah, and that was yeah, that was a nice match put together by Liquid. Yeah, definitely. A little bit rough there in the first half, but pulled it together beautifully as they entered the T side and were able to really clean it up there against the guys over on uh, 